Hi, this is Stan. Well, we're back at the tiny little imaginary part of the Erie Lackawanna Railroad with a midweek update. Well, it's been raining for a couple of days. Right now, I've got a build project going on with the Crow's Nest Railroad, the 5-inch gauge railroad. So I thought it was time to do another update here on the Erie Lackawanna, my HO shelf layout. And as you can see, I'm right in the middle of a project here. I don't know if I'll film this or not. What I'm doing is I'm putting another S-cab controller in another one of my S4 locomotives. And I've already done a video on that. If I think of it, I'll put a link down there. But basically, it's involving taking out the normal controller and guts in this locomotive, doing a little bit of surgery, and then cramming the battery and the receiver and the controller all inside of this locomotive. The first thing I want to mention is this little craft electronics area here. Let me back up with the camera and show you what I'm talking about. Well, my small layout is actually inside the house. This is kind of a game room, and you can see it running along the wall there. And last year, we went through and put some bookshelves in underneath the shelf layout. When I was building this, I had to kind of finish everything a lot sooner than you typically do on a railroad layout. Some of them never get finished, but I had to make it pretty in a hurry because it's inside the house. I couldn't have plywood and 2x4s for years and years. But I had a workbench area there, and it was really handy while I was building the layout. But now that it's essentially sort of stabilized, it's never finished. But at least it's in a stable form right now. We decided, since we have so many books and things, it would look better as well to put bookshelves along the bottom and kind of finish off the room. This wraps around, goes around in front of another bookcase, and around over the piano. So I found that even though I had moved all of my soldering and other small crafty items out into the garage shop, it just wasn't conducive to doing the little fiddly bits. And so I built this little corner shelf out of some scraps that I had left over from my kitchen cabinet project. And this works out really good. It's temperature controlled, it's quiet in here, there's not a lot of dust, and it's just more conducive to doing electronic work and uh, other little fiddly projects. And if I decide to do a few more scenic things with the layout, it works for that as well. So when I'm finished with this current install, I'll have the number four, I'll have my little number six, Plymouth, and then I'll have the second of the Erie Lackawanna S4 switchers done. So I'll have three locomotives under battery control and I am super happy with it. Now the rails still have that digital DC in there um, with the NCE power cab but I don't use it anymore except that as these S-cab locos stay parked on the track their batteries can get recharged. But that's about all I use it for and um, I just would never go back to traditional power. Having the batteries, these locomotives will never get hung up and they never seem to hit any bad spots or glitches in the track. It's just marvelous. Even if you go weeks in between using them, they're ready to go and the batteries always stay charged. Well, that's about all I have for you. It wouldn't be much of a train video if you didn't see any action at all. So let me fire up the number four here and just do a tiny bit of rail fanning. You can see how nice and smooth the battery power is. It's just really great. Small consist switching operations is kind of my thing, not really the main line running. So this layout is perfect for that. But we'll do an operations video coming up really soon, I promise.
Well, I'm going to stay busy here on the table, but I also wanted to remind you that I took all of the HO Erie Lackawanna Railroad stuff and put it in one playlist on this YouTube channel so it's easier to find. I know my channel is very eclectic with all sorts of things. Sorry about that. I suppose if I were really cool, I would have separate channels for all the individual parts of the train hobby, but I don't, so oh well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you here next time, okay?